Welcome back to another video from Magu Tech Channel. In this video, we're going to look at Atlas and Sherp ATV details, as well as comparison between Atlas and Sherp. If you like such content, kindly subscribe, comment, like the video, and click on the notification bell icon so that you don't miss our future uploads. Let's begin. Atlas, just like any other all-terrain vehicle, isn't street legal due to its extreme features like the giant tires that you will notice on the first side of this machine. It's built to be used in emergencies, mining, tourism, sports, fishing, and more. These ATV have the capabilities to move on areas like rough terrains, snow, sand, water, swamps, mud, and hilly areas where other regular vehicles become useless. The Atlas is a unique Ukrainian ATV that provides you with reliability, speed, universality, simplicity of use, and incredible passability, whose design was first started in 2019, and as at the time of this video, only 10 units had been built. It isn't your typical all-terrain vehicle, and the looks are enough to tell you that and don't mistake this off-roader for a Sherp ATV due to its resemblance, because it's not. If you're wondering how much an Atlas all-terrain vehicle costs, then be informed that it has a starting price of $135,000 if you want to own this beast, but the price becomes higher for a customized version. This ATV has a massive size, which is about three times bigger than a normal car with four huge tires of 1.65 meters long each. It also has a wide, comfortable, beautiful interior that can accommodate up to 12 persons, and it can be made to fit a stretcher if needed in case of a rescue mission. The Atlas steering is not that special and has hydrostatic steering operating in three modes. This vehicle has an exceptional ground clearance of up to 58 centimeters and also features a 1.5 liter diesel engine, 90 horsepower engine, 2,200 kilograms of weight, range of 805 kilometers, maximum speed of 38 miles or 61 kilometers per hour on land and five miles or eight kilometers per hour on water. Atlas recently introduced the irresistible redesigned model on market, which looks like it has come from the future. Just like the previous model, most features on this model remain the same. It features a seating capacity of 12, maximum speed of 7 km per hour on water, engine capacity of 90 horsepower, and three modes of turning wheels. Despite the upgrade, the interior of Atlas ATV still doesn't look that great, but it's of course better than the older model. We hope more improvements will be made on the future versions. If you're interested in buying this redesigned model, contact the company on their official website at atlasatv.com for a customized quote. Moving on to Sherp ATV. Unlike Atlas, Sherp is of a Russian origin, but the company has the headquarters in Kyiv, Ukraine. Sherp ATV was unveiled to the public in 2015, and it comes in many versions like Sherp N1200, Sherp Pro, Sherp the Ark, and Sherp the Shuttle. The price for the cheapest version starts at around $120,000 and can be higher in case the customer needs more customization. The manufacturer of these unstoppable vehicles claims that obstacles can't block the way for Sherp, but instead the obstacles are the path for these machines. The Sherp is the ultimate survival machine that can take you anywhere and bring you back safely. This beast can drive over nails, rocks, mad swamps, water, snow, and with all these off-road or amphibious capabilities, this machine can be used in rescue missions in case of floods 
earthquakes or fire, delivering humanitarian services, mining sites, construction sites, and many other hard-to-reach areas. The shirt features vary slightly depending on the version selected. In this video, we're going to review the features of the Sherp N1200 version. The Sherp N has a ground clearance of 60 centimeters, 360 degrees rotation capability, maximum speed of 40 kilometers per hour on land, and 6 kilometers per hour on swamp or water, with a length of about 2.8 meters, width of about 2.5 meters and service interval of up to 250 operational hours. This all-terrain vehicle also has a maximum load capacity of 1,200 kilograms, with seating capacity of nine passengers, including the driver. It can operate in environments of temperatures between minus 40 degrees Celsius and plus 40 degrees Celsius, contains fuel tanks integrated in each wheel disc, giving the machine up to 65 hours working autonomy. In our opinion, both of these all-terrain vehicles are great, but we believe that both companies didn't do enough on the interior given the amount of money one has to part with in order to acquire these machines. For more information about the two all-terrain vehicles, check their official websites. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe like, share, and hit the notification bell icon. See you in the next video.